Hi everybody and welcome back. In this lecture we're going to look at how to modify an attribute's value through a method. So we can have methods that update certain attributes for us. Instead of accessing the attribute de directly like we did in the last lecture, we can pass the new value to a method that handles the updating internally. So let's look at an example. So as you can see I have my class e-reader here and I just removed the last few lines from the last lecture. So in this example we're going to modify our e-reader class with the addition of a new method. And let's add that method now. So here we go. And in it goes here. DEF, and we're going to call this update library count. So you can tell what it does from our name. And we're going to have self, but this is going to take a new parameter and we're going to call it book count, actually ebook count, because that's what it's doing. It's counting our ebooks for our library. Colon, we have to give it a description. Set the library count. There we go. Now, what we wanted to do? Well, we wanted to take our library count, so self.library count, and we're going to give it, we're going to make it equal to our ebook count, so how many ebooks that we actually have. Now, and how do we call this? How do we make this work? Well, we go to the end of our program and we say my new e-reader dot update library count. And what value do we want to pass for a method? Well, we want to pass, let's say, 48. So we have 48 books. So if you have 48 books, you're doing well. My new e-reader dot, and we want to call our previous method, which is read library count, read library count brackets. OK, let's see what we get. There you go. You have 48 books in your library. So in this example, we modify our e-reader class with the addition of update library count here. This method takes in a, an ebook count and stores it in self.library count. At line 33, we call update library count and give it 48 as an argument. It sets the library count to 48 and read library count prints out the new reading. I hope that made sense. It's another simple way to modify an attribute's value. Thank you for listening and if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact me and I'll see you in the next lecture.